<clears throat> hey guys, welcome to La Edge Blade Works. So I'm out here today uh, messing around and I hiked all the way back here to my shelter and my dog's over here and uh, Michael's out ice fishing today so he couldn't make it. <clears throat> and uh, I'm back here playing with one of my knives. This is a Ford. This is uh, made in New Zealand. This is an awesome knife and I've had this for a while. And uh, I wanted to do a review on it because I just I think it's such a great knife and this is a friction folder And that's all you do you you open it up like this you, you, this always sticks out here But you open it up like this And you push on it and because of the friction it stays in to itself and it won't close And when you when you use the knife you want to make sure you have your thumb on top like this or your hand on top And uh, this thing is I mean it's as sharp as like a mora or a scandy grind knife and I had Jay reprofile this thing and it's just an amazing sharp knife and it makes some great feather sticks and uh this is a great knife where you can use this for uh you know making notches for traps and whatever and uh it's just like a razor and you could uh do a push cut with this or a reverse cut And you can see it's nice and sharp. Makes for a great knife though. And uh, one of the, th the only things that I don't care about them is, you know, when you put this in your pocket or something, you, you don't want this to open up on you because there's nothing to hold it closed. It doesn't lock closed. And uh, you know, this would be something you might want to carry like in a sheath on the side of your belt or a neck knife or something. And uh, these are old school knives. I mean, there's a, you know, these are really vintage style the way these are made. And uh, I know Ford's been around for a long, long time. And uh, they're high carbon steel. So they do, uh, you know, they also not only strike a fire steel, but they strike a, uh, like a, if you have a piece of flint or chert or jasper, you know, you'll, you could throw some sparks off of them or a piece of quartz. And uh, you could throw, throw some sparks off them to get a fire going. And uh, it's an awesome day out here today. So I figured I'd just mess around with this knife and show you guys what I was doing. Nah. Uh, if you get a chance to pick one of these up, they make them in all kinds of different colors. And they come with these brass pins and you could tighten these and loosen them and get this to open and close as tight as you want or as loose as you want. And uh, you know, they come really sharp, but uh, like I said, Jay reprofiled this one, but they do have a really sharp 90 degree spine right here for throwing uh, sparks off of a fire steel. And this is made out of a, like a ABS or like a hard plastic. It's almost like a neoprene or something. I'm not sure. Uh, pretty neat material though. It's a great little knife. And you can see how this uh, blade, when you open it up, you know, it has uh, about an eighth of an inch here and it goes down to zero and it pinches it right here. When this blade opens up, this pinches into here. When it opens in, and then this part right here goes into that spot that's uh, a little bit closer to itself there. And you can see right here. Nice little knives though. I guess you could put a lantern on this too if you wanted to, you know, carry it around your neck or something. Makes for a really nice little knife. But uh, Ford, like I said, they've been around for a long, long time. And uh, you know, there's a reason they've been around for a long time. They have some excellent steel. I'm not sure as far as, uh, you know, maybe one of you guys on YouTube know what kind of steel that they use um, in the, on the Ford, Ford knives, and that's S V O R D, and it's pronounced Ford. I believe I'm saying that right. Made in New Zealand. Great knives. Pick one up and give them a try. Thanks for watching.